I love a good platformer. It's hard to believe that I've been playing platformers for nearly 40 years now, going right back to Manic Miner on the ZX Spectrum. There's some tropes that always pop up in most platformers. Spiky death, disappearing ledges, critical timing, avoiding enemies, and leaps of faith. And then some games go above and beyond and give us something extra. Unbound is that kind of game. It starts by introducing us to basic mechanics, and then as the levels progress you get more and more little gimmicks for solving puzzles, usually involving the character's magic portal ability, which seemingly peeks into another dimension. This ability can change monsters, reveal hidden platforms, remove barricades, reverse gravity, and many more things that I won't spoil by revealing here. Honestly, after the first three or four cool things, I thought that was all the game was going to introduce, but instead the portal features just kept coming. Early on, the game felt a bit like Ori in the Blind Forest, with elements of Limbo for at least one section, though unlike Ori, you don't really have combat moves. It has the usual things like hidden areas, there's fast travel to make mopping up collectibles easier, but crucially, and arguably the game's most important feature, is the quick respawn, which is a relief as some parts are hard as nails. There are a few places in the game where I spent a good 30 minutes dying at the same section repeatedly, and if that load time had been even 10 seconds I'd have just gone insane. With an incredible respawn on the switch of just 2-3 to three seconds, the frequent death feels less like a punishment and more like a way to experiment with jump timings and solutions to problems. So platforming, mechanics and torture aside, what else is there to this game? Well, the story's good, the music's lively, and the art style is lovely, and apparently it's all hand animated, which must have been a huge undertaking. Considering this game came from a studio so small that they could fit into a small car with space for luggage and snacks, the achievement here is huge. It may have taken five years, but it was five years well spent. I only experienced a handful of bugs and glitches during my playthrough, and none of them were really deal breakers. I did notice the odd bit of stuttering, but I'm not sure if that's purely on my capture card or the game itself. In handheld mode, I didn't see any of this. Without reservation, I'd recommend this game to all platformer fans, especially the Metroidvania masochists everywhere. It's currently discounted by around 15% for the next few days, but even at full price it's worth £17 of anyone's money. I can't wait to see what game the sadists at Alien Pixel make next. So that's it, that's the lazy review. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing to the channel for more content, and I'll see you on the next one.